I've had my Anycubic Photon S for over a year and a half now, and finally something broke on it and it's not printing anymore. I'm going to show you how to check the LCD screen to see if it's busted, and if it is, how to replace it. To check the LCD menu, you want to come into the Tools menu and then hit Detection. From there, just hit Next, and then you should see this shape on your screen for six seconds. If you don't and see something like this, like mine, it's broken and we need to replace it. The tools that we're going to need is a putty knife, the hex tools that came with your printer, a small screwdriver or some tweezers, double side tape, and then optionally some electrical tape. We're going to be moving the printer all around, so after you power it off, make sure that you also unplug it. With the printer flipped on its back, use the smaller hex screwdriver to undo the four screws that are on the sides of each of the feet. Now getting the cable from the LCD screen disattached can be a little bit tricky. It's on the left side of the printer and I had to use this, my little screwdriver, to get the double-sided tape stick unstuck from the back. It, it took me a little bit to work at. Now nice in that this cable doesn't matter, so if it gets ruined, whatever, but do be careful that you don't destroy your PCB board. To get the LCD screen off, take your putty knife and pry it under there. If you break this screen, that's okay uh, since we're replacing it, but try not to slip under super fast and hard and destroy the lenses underneath. Just once you get it worked under a little bit, then you can just work it all the way around and pop it off. Now I'm gonna be a little bit lazy and not replace all of my double-sided tape, but it did come off on the back when I took the screen off, so I need to add a little bit onto the back. I'm just cutting thin little strips out of this carpet tape uh, because that's what I have on hand, and I'll just put that where the tape came off, and that'll help hold the LCD screen down. Instead of using the official Anycubic screen, I'm gonna use this one from Creelty because it was cheaper when I was looking. Also, the one for the Elegoo Mars works as well. So I'll have a link for all of those down in the description. I would just choose whichever one is cheapest. The screen came with this little side adapter, so I'm just gonna attach it so it looks like the cable that was attached to my screen before. Clip those together and it'll be in the same orientation. And then also, I'm gonna use a little bit of electrical tape, put that on both sides just to make sure that it stays together and doesn't fall apart. Now we just need to feed the cable down on the left side. Make sure you don't scratch up your lenses or anything. Feed that down in there, and then you can lay down the screen and make it nice and flush and flat and push it down all around so it attaches really nicely to that double-sided tape. You may notice if you're not using the Anycubic brand screen that it's inset into the cavity a little bit. And that's fine. We're gonna level the bed to the screen so if it's inset a little bit, you don't need to add a shim or anything like that. With the printer laid down on its back again, come in here and with the cable, plug it into the control board. This was a little bit finicky for me, especially because the residue of the double-sided tape was still around there. After you do have it attached, I do recommend putting a little piece of tape on there just to hold it in place, kind of a belt and suspenders approach. If you're brave, you can put the bottom back on the printer now while it's laying on its back. You can also check to make sure things are working first, which I'll show in just a sec. But anyways, just re-put in those four screws. Plug it in, power it on, and now we're gonna go back and then check the detection just like we did before and see how the pattern is. Everything's looking good. Now we need to level the build plate to the new LCD screen because it's not going to be exactly in the same spot as the old one was. Cut a piece of paper that's roughly the width of your build plate, but that's a little bit longer. Come into the menu and hit the home button to bring the screen down to the home position. From here, you want to put the piece of paper in between the LCD screen and your build plate. And then we're going to move down the build plate after we break the screw to loosen it up, and we're gonna move it down in little increments until there's just a little bit of tension on that piece of paper. That paper is kind of standing in for the film that's in your build chamber or your resin tank. And so we just wanna have that so it's roughly catching on there, but not too tight so that you go and crank your new screen. Now tighten up again that hex screw that's at the top of your build plate and then you're gonna to wanna to come back into the tool menu and hit that Z equals zero. So this is gonna have the printer remember that this is the zero position 
and you'll have your printer all set up and ready to print. I'm super happy that the printer's working again and the prints are turning out looking really nice. If this has been useful, hit that like button down below. Thanks so much for watching and take care.